Donna Jeanette, and I'm the RN here at Meyer Orthopedic Sports Medicine. And we are here with another success story, Mr. Dylan Ceglio. And uh, he's going to tell us about this horrible accident that he was involved where his uh, motorcycle, uh, actually, he was T-boned, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he went airborne and then came crashing on the ground and he had all sorts of orthopedic issues. And uh, Dylan, you can tell us. Uh, sure. Um, how everything yeah. happened. So I was uh, just kind of a routine drive. Uh, I typically ride my motorcycle to and from work as well as to the gym and I was heading to the gym on a Friday night and uh, I was going down Pacific Ave where, where the Venice sign hangs mm -hmm. and uh, a guy was driving down an SUV coming southbound. He made a left hand turn right in front of me um, and kind of just you know, out of nowhere it just kind of happened and I ended up going flying, uh, landed right on my, uh, my knee. Um, but my hip took a lot of the, uh, the brunt of the accident once I got hit. Mm -hmm. Um, and then kind of was just in shock. I remember standing up there was just a bunch of people standing around me. It must have been really a scary thing. Yeah, I mean, nobody expect, I guess you kind of have to expect that the opportunity, you know, can happen mm -hmm. being on a motorcycle in Los Angeles, uh, but having mm -hmm. one, you know, you don't really ever think it's going to actually happen to you mm -hmm. until it actually does. Mm -hmm. um, and I just remember just kind of a split second thing. Mm -hmm. um, next thing I know, it was just like kind of in the air. And then I remember popping up back up on my feet, but again, I think a lot of that was all based off of like just being in the moment and like the, mm -hmm. the endurance and the shock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, There's a lot of adrenaline going on there at that time, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what kind of body parts, what, what type uh, of pain were you experiencing at the time? Yeah, so... Uh, well, I'm sure you probably progressed uh, yeah. with each day, right? Everything absolutely. changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's where Dr. Myers office actually really helped me is just because I kind of came in for one thing and then it kind of like evolved into others. Mm -hmm. um, so initially when I got to the accident, uh, my hip took a bit of the brunt of the, the uh, accident. I mm -hmm. just kind of remember going hip first into the side of the car. But when I landed, I came down knee first, and that's really where I felt most of the pain. Mm -hmm. um, I had a lot of swelling in my right knee, um, some you know aching and soreness mm -hmm. as well. My hip was a little sore, but I didn't really think too much of it. I had some cuts up and down my leg, but they were really minimal. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't until I came in, uh, Dr. Meyer suggested getting an MRI done. Mm -hmm. uh, we found that I had a, uh, like a strained MCL. Mm -hmm. um, so I en ended up going to uh, physical therapy because mm -hmm. of that. Um, and it wasn't until I was in physical therapy, um, which was ended up like being a couple months after the accident, is when I started getting the back pains. Um, and I would just randomly get these episodes where my back would just be incredibly inflamed. I wouldn't be able to like bend over to tie my shoes um, or even put my socks on for that matter. Um, so, so you started out with the knee, and yeah. then you started finding out that, oh my God, here I have the actual, you know, my lower back is now hurting. Yep. So then you came back to Dr. Meyer the next visit, and then what happened? What did yes. you say? So then uh, the, the goal was then to get another MRI done mm -hmm. on the lower back, um, and I found out that I had a 7 millimeter protrusion in my lower That's very wrist. significant. Yeah. Um, so and what kind of symptoms were you now having with your lower back? Oh, uh, it was uh, sciatic uh, uh, pain, so mm -hmm. I was, anytime I would... So I would get these episodes and they were anything from jogging to stretching to, you know, doing any type of minimal weightlifting. Um, and I would just, it would be so easy for my back to just kind of uh, uh, almost feel like I slipped the disc in a sense. Mm -hmm. um, and I would just, some, some of them were a lot, lot worse than others, but when I came in, um, obviously we noticed that there was that seven millimeter protrusion. So mm -hmm. um, the, after, you know, getting the MRI and, and then kind of going from there, it was the decision was to either get surgery, which we immediately crossed off, and then from there, it was uh, doing the trigger point injection therapy, um, as well as the stem cell mm -hmm. injection therapy. Okay, so we offered you other treatments other than surgery. I wouldn't want to yeah. have surgery no. in my spine either. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so did you have the pain radiating down your leg? Yeah, so it, it happened a few times. It was uh, kind of the bigger episodes that I was having was, mm -hmm. would cause that. So the first, the two episodes that I had that were the, the, the worst were um, essentially the first couple of days. I, I literally wasn't able to get out of bed, let alone mm -hmm. really walk. Wow, so you got really bad. Then. Yeah, and then after like the initial onslaught oh. of pain came, um, I was able to start moving, but any mm -hmm. like large step that I would take, I would get a driving force of a pain mm -hmm. going into my So it was really foot. affecting your function. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Oh, I mean, I was literally limping around all over the place because of it. I bet um, it made you feel kind of like uh, really depressed, huh? Absolutely. I mean, I would say, I, I don't want to say I, I felt paralyzed because I don't know what that feeling felt like, but it was probably as close to somebody who's not being paralyzed to actually feel. Especially for someone who's so active like you. Absolutely. Who, who goes to the gym and does what competitive sports. And yeah. I mean, my um, earlier days for sure. Now, you know, I just like kind of trained to be functional as well as like 
you know, mm-hmm. to feel good and, you know, more or less look good, I guess, too, in a sense. Mm-hmm. But um, after this accident, after the accident and then getting all those, those episodes, it definitely caused me to kind of take a step back and kind of reevaluate mm-hmm. what I can and cannot do. Right, what well, the seven millimeter band, I mean, the uh, disc protrusion, that's Absolutely. pretty significant and you had to be very careful. So tell me about your experiences then with the regenerative therapy. First you started with the trigger points, you said? Yep, so uh, the goal was to do five rounds of trigger point injection therapy um, and then one round of the stem cell injection therapy. Uh, okay. So the way we broke it up was every two weeks I would come in for trigger point mm-hmm. injections um, and then it was like a third session we broke it up and did the stem cell injection therapy and then finished it up with two more, I'm sorry, three more rounds of the trigger point injection therapy. And and did you feel that uh, the prolotherapy or the injection, the PIT, mm-hmm. um, did that help you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, it was, you know, at first, you, it's, you, and I even asked uh, Dr. Meyer, like, what should I expect from this? And, uh, you know, a lot of it's just, it's not like immediate, uh, like changes, but it's mm-hmm. more of like how much you put in is how much you get out. Mm-hmm. Um, and this kind of also just plays to like who I am as well, where it's just a lot of, I focus a lot on like movement and functionality uh, mm-hmm. just for myself. So uh, I felt that if I kind of bought into the system of like what trigger point and the, re- and the stem cell and the regenerative therapy mm-hmm. does, mm-hmm. Um, then ultimately I should be able to like kind of bounce back quicker. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's definitely what I felt um, after just, you know, doing the sessions as well as like just keeping up with my overall functionality and movement. So then that was offered first for you, the prolotherapy, and then you improved, but then Dr. Meyer thought you could even improve even more. So then that's when he offered you the stem cell therapy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, how was the stem cell therapy? Uh, th- what was it that you expected and how was the procedure for you? Mm-hmm. So I, I never had like any extensive surgeries before, so mm-hmm. coming into it I was pretty nervous, but um, after having done two sessions with Dr. Uh, Meyer for mm-hmm. this uh, trigger point injection therapy, mm-hmm. I felt very comfortable going into the stem cell injection therapy. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I- there was that trust. Oh yeah, yeah. And I mean, and the he's whole very team, good at explaining things to you. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and it was, it was, it was pretty straightforward in terms mm-hmm. of like, what to expect and then even the outcome and like the results of what to expect too. So mm-hmm. I went into it feeling very comfortable just knowing that I've already done s- sessions with Dr. Mm-hmm. Meyer and your mm-hmm. team. Um, so I mean it was, you know, it, it was a little nerve wracking at first coming mm-hmm. in that day, but uh, yeah. Did you know that they were going to go into your your lower back and into the hip area and, and withdraw the yep. harvesting the, the stem cells? Yep. So Dr. Meyer, you know, kind of the week prior uh, mm-hmm. when I came in, he like laid out the entire game plan in terms of like how they approach the the surgery and then you know even the um, in between time of just kind of hanging out and waiting for I guess the uh, the harvesting to, to occur right. mm-hmm. um, and well, then what they do first is he, he marks the area that he's mm-hmm. going to go in with using an ultrasound he puts a local anesthetic there yep. and then he walks out I think for about 15 minutes giving you a chance to really become numb yep. he comes back and then tests you to make sure that you're really numb before he goes into the procedure of actually harvesting yeah. and, and pulling out the stem cells. Um, and then uh, you, you can talk about how, how we gave you oh, the, the nitrous oxide. <laughs> uh, I mean, that was actually... Uh, that was kind of cool, right? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, I never did that before, so it was interesting, especially to like still kind of be awake, but you know, not right. like be with it, I guess. In yeah, sense. it kind so, of takes the edge off. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, you know, you're there, but you're really not there. But yeah. then at the same time, you're, you're, you're not intubated, so, and there's no dangerous uh, effects with, with the nitrous oxide. And yeah, it no. really gets excreted, with, uh, I think, within a couple of minutes after yeah. you take it. I, it made me just feel more comfortable, mm-hmm. given the situation. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I already felt very comfortable going into it, as I mentioned. Mm-hmm. Um, but the nitrous oxide just kind of took off any type of worry, I guess, in mm-hmm. addition to it, or like, kind of calmed my nerves, if right. you will. Did you find the experience uh, painful no. when they're harvesting? No, not at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you could kind of feel like that something's going mm-hmm. on, but there was there absolutely no pain. Okay, great. Yeah, I mean that was obviously the best part, just being that my nerve, I, you know, my nerves were just pretty high because I was going yeah. into for my first ever procedure like this. Right, so. right, yeah. Yeah, but uh, Dr. Meyer has a good way of uh, explaining everything to you, and then um, he's just so calm. His Absolutely. nature is yes. just so so present and so calm and so centered, and yep. it just uh, it calms everybody down. Yeah, and I think even before I went to this uh, trigger point injection therapy, he said that he had similar issues um, in the past too, um, and so like being able to relate to him in the sense mm-hmm. that he's already gone through some of this stuff too is also mm-hmm. you know very comforting as well. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And so tell me, after you got the stem cell procedure, how were you feeling a couple of days after? Mm-hmm. 
definitely like a little bit of soreness, uh, which was expected. Uh, but you know, I, I was pretty much moving the way that I wanted to be moving um, pretty soon after it. And again, you know, as I've been saying too, like even the way that he approached it was like you get. What, what, what you put in is what you kind of get out. Mm -hmm. um, so I make sure, or I still do, but I was making sure that I was doing a lot of movement stuff mm -hmm. and not doing any like lifting or anything like that, right. but instead like looking for more of like a gradual increase opposed to just like, right. you know, kind of sitting and just letting But at the same time being course. active and, and, and yeah. doing things that you ad lib and things mm -hmm. that you could tolerate yep. in order to be part of that rehabilitation program. Absolutely. And, and he's very good at explaining that and you were also going to physical therapy, correct? Yep, yep. Okay. So, how are you now? I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm pretty much back at it, 100%. Um, Unbelievable. I know, it's, it's been... When, when, when a, a seven millimeter you yeah. know, disc, and you're at, uh, now at 100% improvement, mm -hmm. it's it's like, wow. And yep. you avoided the, the spinal surgery, and, and Absolutely. Uh, which God only knows, you know, with all the risks that can potentially happen with that. And, and here you use your own body to heal itself. Yeah, absolutely. So, when did you have this procedure? Uh, I think it back in May. Uh, okay, and so how many months are we at? That's it's about like three, maybe three like three ish. Okay. Yeah. So, and here you are at 100%. Yeah, I mean, I feel great. Um, I mean, honestly, that that's really what, what the goal's been. Um, mm -hmm. And I just, you know, I think, again, as I keep saying, like the buying in aspect of it is like being proactive about these things as opposed to reactive. Mm -hmm. uh, so, not doing things that you know could potentially upset, you know, what, what has mm -hmm. happened. Cause at the end of the day, like, you know, you, you got to learn from mm -hmm. these type of mishaps and mm -hmm. uh, to put yourself in the best situation to continue to be healthy, I think it's really important. Yeah, um, it seems like you have a lot of awareness about your health and <laughs> about exercise and function and flexibility. And Absolutely. It seems like you're very passionate about that. Definitely. And now you have the component of stem cells and mm -hmm. regenerative medicine, and it's like, wow, you, you are really a voice. Of, oh, yeah. The it's, voice of it's health. It's a game changer. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> and then 100%. I mean, wow, after a, an accident... Uh, a moving vehicle accident with a motorcycle being tossed across yep. and, and here you are you know doing so well it's amazing well we thank you so much for sharing Absolutely. your beautiful story Anytime. and uh, I, I really look forward to other people listen to your story and and um, you know and, and learn about the other options that we have and, and how the body has the potential of uh, healing itself well I thank you so much absolutely anytime Sorry.